What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Ed Gaskin. I'm sorry it's been so long since our last video, but hey, the good news is we're back in the garage. I got a new project to show you, and this time around, we ain't leaving. I'm not fucking leaving! <laughs> So August is kind of like the Sunday of the summer, meaning all the really good times are shortly behind us and what immediately lies ahead is kind of cold and dark. So what I've done is I've picked up a new project for us so that we can really take advantage of the last bit of beautiful weather that the summer has to offer. So what we have here is a 2021 model year Irish Setter Golden Doodle sitting next to our new to us 2002 Jeep Wrangler. So this specific example is a 2002 Jeep Wrangler 4 liter automatic transmission and it only has 72,000 miles on it which is why I was really interested in picking it up. Now of course with every project that I bring into our garage there's always a specific reason why it landed in our hands. Of course if you look at the front end of this Jeep you'll quickly realize why it's sitting in our garage. Of course what fun would it be to buy a vehicle that's ready to go from the factory. Now of course it looks like the front bumper is in pretty good shape with no damage as is the rear end completely intact. Now if you check out our fender, well can't say the same. Unfortunately there's a significant kink here that I don't plan on trying to work out. I'm just going to replace this with a new one. Now the grill's got to go. Unfortunately it's been pushed in pretty bad on the passenger side. You can see the headlights have been smashed or at least that driver's side has. And I found a new one for sale on the internet pretty cheap that comes with all of those accessories including the headlights and the wiring harness. Unfortunately the one that I found is blue but as you've seen in previous videos we do have a pop-up paint booth in the garage. So we'll go ahead and pick up those cheap parts and then change them to the right color. So first things first, let's get this Wrangler outside for a washing before we disassemble the front end. That way, at a minimum, if we find that we cannot fix this Wrangler and make it street legal once again, at least we've made a really, really clean, poor financial decision. So as great as the Jeep looks after a soap and water bath, unfortunately I don't think any soap and water is going to do much for our fender or our broken fender flares or our broken grill or our broken radiator that has a hole in it from where the fan collided with it or our broken headlight, among many other things in this Jeep that are broken. Now I ordered most of them, they should be here today or tomorrow. Some of them need painting, some do not. But first things first, let's disassemble the front end of this Jeep starting with the grill, working our way to the firewall, identifying everything that's going to keep us from bringing this Jeep back to life.
All right, guys, the good news is we have everything off of our front end and everything that we thought was broken is broken. And the bad news is that there's a lot of stuff that's broken around here. Of course, there's a radiator that has a big hole in it. Fortunately, we have a new one. Of course, I'm not going to install that radiator until we get the rest of this Jeep apart so that we can reassemble. And that radiator will probably be one of the last things that goes in. So let's move over to this fender. Let's remove everything that's in the way. Of course, that involves removing the battery, the fuse box, and the intake. So without further ado, let's get back to work. So guys, we have disassembled our Jeep Wrangler and exposed everything that needs to be replaced. And as you see, I just about have everything in the garage for reassembly. Now, unfortunately, some of those pieces are the wrong color, so our next step is to head over to the supply house and get some cleaning products, some sanding products, some primer, base coat, which is flame red, and some clear coat so we can finish up this project and get it reassembled. Now, unfortunately, the paint supply house is closed for the evening, which effectively ends today's video. If you enjoyed today's video and you wanna see this Jeep Wrangler come back to life, be sure to subscribe to Ed Gasket. Head over to Ed Gasket Garage on Instagram if you wanna see updates on this Jeep before they hit YouTube. Otherwise, guys, if you need us between now and that next video, we'll be in the garage. <laughs>